Hello everybody, it's Blue J Artist, and today we are going to be doing another, you know, favorite type list. Um, and this time it is going to be medicine cats. Yes, I, I, I actually like some medicine cats. Wow, what a big shock. Um, I have top five. I narrowed it down to five because, I don't know, I thought my favorite couples rant. I think I need to stick to five, even, but the favorite couples one was kind of an exception. Um, and... I do not believe I have any runners-up. I mean, I could be wrong, but... Oh, yes, I have one. I have one. Woo. Um, so, my my only runner-up that I have is, um... Echo Song. Oh, sorry, I have two. Oh, my gosh, Blue Jay, stay to your script. Okay. Well, I'm not really a script. Oh, my gosh, guys, I can't talk today. I'm sorry. I have two runners-up. I just remembered one. Okay, my first one is Feather Whisker. He was the apprentice of Goose Feather, and I really, he was a really good medicine cat, and I thought he did a good job, you know, stepping up when Goose Feather was going kind of cuckoo, and he was just a good medicine cat, and he mentored um, Spotted Leaf well, and he was just a good cat, and all, all in all. Um, my second runner up is Echo Song. Uh, you probably don't know who I'm talking about unless you've read Sky Clan's Destiny or Firestar's Quest. She is the cat. She is like the only, well, not the only cat I like. I like Leaf Star, but she's one of the few cats I actually like in um, Sky Clan because she's a really good medicine cat. And having only training from like what Sandstorm or something like that, the little the little stuff that Sandstorm knew that she, you know, gave to Echo Song. I thought that Echo Song has been doing a pretty good job with all this, all the medicine stuff she's been doing. So I applaud her for that. Um, so I'm going to go from, like, I'm going to basically do the same thing I did with my favorite couples. I'm going to start at number five and go up to number one. So let's get started. My first one is, number five is Brambleberry. You also don't know who I'm talking about unless you have read Crooked Sir's Promise. She was the medicine cat. Um... Almost throughout the whole book, like toward the end of the book, she died, but, um, well, actually, you know, I was reading it the other day, so really in the manga she is shown as dead. But anyway, um, she was basically the medicine cat throughout Crooked Star's Promise, and I was actually reading, rereading Crooked Star's Promise the other day, and I forgot how much I like her. I mean, she was just a good medicine cat, all in all. I mean, she didn't do anything wrong. She... Um, supported Crooked Star, even though she suspected that he was kind of treading down the wrong path, as they say, because he was with Maple Shade, and at that point he didn't really know what she was saying, so she kind of didn't like him, but she was, she was always there for him, no matter if she accused him of being evil or whatever, but she was always there for him, and she was a good medicine cat, so that's why I like Brambleberry. Um... Number four is Little Cloud. I know a lot of people like Little Cloud, and I have to be one of them included. Um, he's just a really, really sweet cat, and I just felt so bad for him when him and Whitethroat, please don't hate me if I got that wrong in the comments. I really don't like it when people do that. He and his other little friend, you know, came from Shadow Clan when they had the disease, and Cinderpelt looked after them, and all that stuff. And... I just, he's a good medicine cat, and he's been serving for a long time, and I just feel Brambleberry, I mean, he's above Brambleberry in here, because I feel like we know him better, like, we saw him go from this, like, skittish warrior, the skittish too young warrior, you know, like a kit warrior, whatever they called them, to becoming a very mature, well-trained medicine cat, and I was proud of him to see that change, and now stupid Flame Tail is dead, so he doesn't have another apprentice. So I don't know what's going to happen in there. Sorry, leave on a bad note. Um, number three is Yellow Fang. Oh, I love Yellow Fang. I love her character. I just love Yellow Fang all in all. Um, I'm trying to think here. Yellow Fang is just... I know that the the three cats that I actually have left, in, you know, the, the number one, two, three, one, three, two, one, sorry... Um, all really didn't originally plan to be a medicine cat, which is interesting, because the others did. But, I just, she's, she was, Yellow Fang is just so 
she's such a well-developed character, and you just feel so much sympathy from her. And I feel that, I don't, it, it just the way that her character is built and her personality is just so touching, and her backstory is touching. And you just want to, in my opinion, you just want to root for Yellowfang because you just want her to wish her the best of luck and everything because her life has just been such a struggle from the start, really. And she has been loyal throughout the, her whole life. Well, yes, yeah, she did break the medicine, the medicine cat code, but that's before she planned on being a medicine cat. But it's just, she's a really good character, and I've always loved Yellow Fang, and I love seeing her when she comes to talk to someone, because she's smart, she sounds like a smart aleck, and it's just so nice, well, not so nice, but it's just really cute to read, because like, oh, there's Yellow Fang, I love Yellow Fang. Yeah, Yellow Fang, you go sass, Dove Wing, you have every single right, go sass, Dove Wing. Or as I like to call her, Dove Ick. Um, anyway, moving on to number two, uh, Jay Feather. God, I love Jay Feather. His personality just kind of matches mine at some times. I guess that's why I can relate to him. And he just, yes, he is stubborn, but that's what makes Jay Feather's character good. It seems like it was nice to see a change in the Warriors universe because it seems like pretty much all the cats were like nice and cheery and <laughs> really comical and funny. But here Jay Feather comes along with this grumpy guy. And, you know, I won't accept my destiny kind of thing. I just thought it was a nice change. And I thought that they handled his, um, quote-unquote, grumpiness well. Because it could have gone horribly wrong. They could have made him just grumpy about everything. But then we see this character development in Jay Feather, like I said on my couple's rant with Half Moon, and all the other things that happened to him. And he just matures into this very nice cat. And just, he's a really... Interesting character to read too. Is I think it's cool to read as a as a blind person, well, a blind cat that is. I think it's just cool to read through the uh, <laughs> through the eyes. <laughs> but anyway, sorry, I'm really hyper right now. Um, the you know I the not the oh my gosh I don't know how to put this. Be in the shoes of a cat who is blind. Wait, cats don't have shoes. Ah. Uh. Okay, you know what I mean. Basically, read from Jay Feather's point of view. And it's, it's just interesting. Um, and he, even though he was extremely stubborn in the beginning about accepting that, you know, he has to be a medicine cat, it's the path he has to tread, blah, 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 blah. Spotted Petal comes along, hey, you got a destiny to follow, you better follow it. And Jay Feather's like, I don't want to, like half the book. And I was like, oh, thank God, he finally accepted his destiny. But... I think that's really it about Jay Feather. Um, my number one spot, if any of you want to guess, just think in your heads for a moment. I'll give you a moment. And number one is Cinderpelt. I bet some of you already guessed it before I even gave you the five-second wait. Um, uh, who doesn't like Cinderpelt? I mean, come on. The nice, goofy little apprentice have, has her dream shattered to pieces when stupid tiger poop gets her nailed by a monster and gets her leg crippled, and then she has to be a medicine cat. But there's a reason that Jay Feather is below her, because Cinderpelt immediately accepts that she has to be a different person. Yes, she's upset, but she did not show as much anger as um, Jay Feather did. And it's just, she's such a great character. And she's she's nice but firm. She's kind of like Squirrel Flight, but a little, little less spicy. But still, she's she's kind. She does her job well. I mean, and the only medicine cat who followed the code, oh my god. Maybe that's also why I like Cinderpelt, because she's, just, you know, she's like one of the few... Like, it, main antagonist, like, really, there's a big focus on them kind of character that actually followed the code. She kept in her feelings for Firestar. She didn't just let them run wild and be like, oh, Firestar, I love you, but I'm a medicine cat. And Firestar's like, yeah, let's have kids. Wait a minute. Now I love two medicine cats. Ugh. Life problems. Um, and... She's just a great cat, all in all. And why did... I get it. it. There has to be... Leafpool has to be the medicine cat now. And we had to reincarnate 
Cinder Pill, because you didn't have a fair life. There are so many cats who have not had a good life. Yes, Cinderpelt deserves a second, second chance, in my opinion, but there are so many other cats out there who had such a miserable life. I, I won't get um, too far on that. Um, so I think that's the end of this rant. As a reminder to all you guys, I am only taking suggestions from the rants that appear before me. And unless you request it, like, let's say I upload this today and you want to request something, so you put it in this video, because it's the only rant I'm going to upload today. Unless something changes, then I'll put a note. Um, so put suggestions in the form of video. Thank you. Bye, guys.